Welcome back to Late Night Football. Today we are talking about how the Cincinnati Bengals win the 2024 NFL Draft. Seven round mock draft right here. Seven, that's right. I can count seven round mock draft. Let's dive straight into this thing and guys, I'm going to give you a secret. Today we got a very nice trade on the table. You've probably seen it before, but I'm going to make it happen again today and uh, let's waste no time. Let's dive straight into this thing. So, the Bengals pick at 18, 49, and 80, and then so on. They got a good amount of picks this year, good amount of capital. Good job, Bengals. I see you. Let's see how the board falls. Caleb, May, Daniels, we don't care. We're skipping all the way at our pick. We are here, 18 overall. If you want to take a peek at how it went, I'll do a quick scan through for you. There you go. There you go. There you go. And we're on the clock. So the Bengals need a tight end in Brock Bowers, a tackle, or interior D-line. And we have interior D-line for sure right here. Let's see if Bowers went. I think he did. I was scanning through there super quick. Yes, Bowers went at 8 overall. So we can't take Bowers, which is my dream scenario for the Bengals. Now, here we go at 18. Are there any great tackles left? I think Mims is a very, very good prospect. The dude's fantastic out of Georgia. But we can't just ignore DJ Reader leaving Cincinnati. We have to fill that gap and fill that void. Newton can clearly do that. This dude is phenomenal, and I'm looking forward to see what roster he falls on today. He falls in the Cincinnati Bengals roster, and man, they are jumping for joy. This is exciting. The Bengals are feeling good because they got their guy. They're feeling good in the interior, and man, what can make this draft better? Let me tell you. The Cardinals want to pay T. Higgins, and the Bengals are here for it. They already got Jamar Chase. They got to pay this dude here pretty soon, and they don't have the cap space to make all this happen. So the Cardinals definitely can. They have room in their cap space. Let's send 27 to our team, and we're going to send them T. Higgins. So we're just going to force this trade and just do 27 overall, make it a clean-cut trade. The Bengals are back on the clock, and they can pick somebody to fill that need. So you got two ways to take this, in my opinion. You're not going to go tight end. Bowers is gone tackle the tackle class there is tons of depth in this first round and then it's just gone there's not much value down the road of this draft so i believe they lean tackle here or you could argue hey Cade, we just saved a ton of million hundreds of millions of dollars on our wide receiver t higgins because we traded him thank you cardinals do we now take adonna mitchell lad mcconkey a brand new wideout to fill that void that we just traded away I don't think you directly do that because there is much more wide receiver depth than tackle depth in this class, and you got to protect your quarterback. We have got to protect Joe Burrow and cannot let him keep getting hurt. So let's look at who we have on the tackle board. Who is here? Tyler Guyton and Morgan. Solid prospects. I like Guyton a lot personally, and that is who we're going to take here to sure up that tackle spot for the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow is very happy, and guys, at pick 49, we're going to try to snipe a wide receiver. Let's see how this goes because we want to fill that void a little bit if we can where T. Higgins left. All right, team, I have paused it. The Raiders are on the clock. Now, we are five picks out from where we're picking, and I told you I wanted to target a wide receiver to fill the void of T. Higgins. It's not going to be T. Higgins. We know that, but we need to help Joe Burrow just a little bit, just a little bit down there. So what are we going to do? I see the Saints need a wide out. I see the Colts need a wide out. I see the Giants need a wide out. This is a very good place to jump five picks. Now, this trade is not accurate to what it will actually be on draft day if this does happen, but I'm just going to assume we toss... Let's say it's 194. Very cool. I'm going to force this trade. So we're going to force this trade, realistic or not, but we're going to jump five spots and go get the guy we want at wide receiver. Now, we got a ton of options here on the board here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Look at all them. Troy Franklin, Ricky, Burton, Keon, Polk, Leggett, McMillan, Worthy, Walker, Baker. The list just goes on and on and on. Many people are going to scream for about two to three people, in my opinion. They're going to say Worthy because he's quick and he was a very solid player in college. We're going to go Leggett. This dude has been getting tons of hype throughout the draft process, and I understand why. He's a very good wideout with a ton of potential. Big, strong dude. And I'd guess pick three and a half, four would be Keon and Troy Franklin. I, these guys are all great receivers. I think this is a very big teardrop off after Baker, but all these guys are fantastic. For the Cincinnati Bengals, I think they take the upside in Xavier Leggett. He doesn't have to be the wide receiver one. That helps a ton. You have Jamar Chase. You can put this guy behind him, help him learn a lot, and eventually he flourishes in something fantastic for this team. This is a very good situation, not only for Xavier, but also for the Bengals. So let him grow and flourish as a wide receiver. Let's take Xavier Leggett right here, and I'll see you guys at pick 80 overall. Fellas, we are back on the clock for the Cincinnati Bengals. It is 16th pick of the third round. Who are we going to take? We just took a wideout. I'm very glad we took Xavier Leggett because, man, he's got so much potential. And I was just talking about how the way all the way up there that I also like Javon Baker a lot. And somehow he slid all the way to us at 80. And as I look in the value on this board and what we need, and we've already solved D-line. We haven't solved tight end, but I don't really – let me show you the value of tight end. The value of tight end is like, hey, 
like Kate Stover, like Ben Sennett, Theo's solid. I'm not going to jump the gun. We have like, look at that. We got 97, we got 115. We could definitely get one of those guys in that range. We're not going to see Baker again. I can promise you that. Let's give Joe Burrow some more weapons for that wideout core. And man, Javon Baker is special. These two rookie wideouts are going to be eaten for the Bengals. Back on the clock at 97. I think our tight end pick is going to be right here at 115. We got tons of talent left. So let's punt the tight end position for one more pick round. Not round, but you get what I'm saying. And let's just take the best player available. I got two values here at 97 overall that I like a lot for the players remaining on the board. Mason McCormick out of South Dakota State. Let's protect Joe Burrow some more. Twist my arm. That sounds like a great idea. Definitely my value number one right there. And number two, Mr. Jones out of Florida State. Love him as a cornerback prospect. Very, very solid right there. What are we going to take? We already took an alignment. Let's dip into defense a little bit more. Let's get Jones out of Florida State, the cornerback, and I'll see you guys at 115. We are at 115, and we need a tight end prospect bad. Luckily for us, we've been counting on this. We called this 50 picks ago. We want Kate Stover. Bring him on over, the Ohio State tight end. I like this dude a lot. Very versatile, well-rounded. There you go. Just repeating what I'm saying. I love it. Very good player there for the Buckeyes. Let's make him a bangle today. Let's review what we've taken so far with four picks left on the board. Let's look at this from the beginning, from the top. We, we took Newton in the first round. Then we traded away Higgins. We got Guyton at tackle. And then next we got Leggett. Followed by Baker, another wide receiver there. I just love the value. It just fell to us. I had to take him. And then for our next pick, we took Mr. Jones out of Florida State. We also took Cates over 115 overall. And now we are back on the clock. Who do we want to take? We got Logan Lee and Michael Barrett. Where do we go here? I'm going to go with Grayson Murphy. This dude is going to make for a good depth piece at the edge position. I mean, it never hurts to have more pass rushers, especially in today's modern NFL. Let's take Grayson Murphy, and I'll see you guys at the next pick for the Bengals. Back on the clock, and I think value-wise, I'm looking at these players. What are y'all thinking? Because I know what I'm thinking. I want to take Hopper out of Missouri. Let's add a linebacker to that defense. Let's make this thing happen. Let's go to the next pick for the Bengals. Back on the clock, and we got two seventh-round picks left for the draft. Who are we taking? The best value here, in my opinion, of course, because today, just so y'all know, I know we're late in the draft now, but it's who I would pick, not what I think is actually going to happen. This is who I would take if I was the GM. And I can always bet on a big Wisconsin center. You know he's going to be good. How big is he? 6'4", 310. Give it to me, man. Backup center is what we need for that O-line. Let's build the interior O-line. Make sure Joe Burrow has a clean pocket to step up into. Last pick for the Bengals here. I like Tanner a lot out of Arizona. This guy can straight up ball. Throw him on the Bengals roster. It's a position in need. We're going to need this guy for sure. It's not like I'm just taking a shot in the dark. We will actually use this guy. I believe he's got true potential for this team. Fellas, this is my mock draft for the ba Bo Nix. Look at him. You drafted Xavier Leggett, draft Bo Nix instead. You're crazy. We got Joe Burrow. Anyways, here we are. Bengals fans, this is my mock draft. Let's talk about it. We took Newton in the first. We sent T. Higgins. This is not accurate to what it would actually be, but we sent T. Higgins, and we got 27 overall, and with that, we took a tackle because we for sure need it. We got to protect Joe Burrow. I think Xavier Leggett's going to be a true boomer bust talent in the NFL, and you can afford that risk with Jamar Chase as your wideout one. For our next pick, I was talking about Baker at pick 44 overall, and he fell to us at 80. Give me that shit all day. I love Baker as a prospect, too. If Xavier Leggett doesn't work out, you know Javon Baker will. We had Jones on the board at 97, Kate Stover to fill that tight end need at 115, Murphy for the edge, Hopper at linebacker, a center out of Wisconsin, and then Tanner McLaughlin, the tight end. Let's double dip a tight end. This is my mock draft. What did you think? Drop it down below in the comments. You can't offend me. It's all good, guys. Let me know what you would change. Would you trade Higgins? Did you like the Newton pick at 18? Did you like Guyton at 27? Or would you take like a Donnie Mitchell there at 27 if we traded away Higgins? If you guys watch this far in the video please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously i mean big time it lets youtube know that you enjoyed the video you watched it's pretty simple but it helps me out a ton also if you enjoy these kind of mock drafts we're doing one for every single team so go subscribe below and if you subscribed and if you like the video and you were just a super fan we have a brand new patreon not here but here we got two patrons in our all pro tier thank you cisco thank you david they get an additional weekly video per week and access to our q a sessions and then at our mvp tier mom is holding it down she gets full access to our rookie draft guide you get five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier based rankings for quarterback running back wide receiver and tight end and of course a one pager cheat sheet so on draft that you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for dynasty fantasy football thank you guys for watching i appreciate you more than you know have the best day love you guys peace now listen up y'all it is time for the 2024 nfl draft wide receiver tier list and this is the first time i have ever had i mean ever had two players in my god tier let's get it started introducing my two players in my god tier y'all know their names say it with me marvin harrison jr out of osu 
and Malik Neighbors out of Ellis.